Good morning, everyone. My name is Utoxin, and welcome back to another episode of Utoxin Plays Factorio. I am working on getting more stuff set up for our train station here. Clearing out a lot of trees, filling up my inventory with wood because, you know, I, I really wanted more wood. Um, no, I, I really didn't. Um, come on. Recharge bots. Thank you. Um, trying to figure out how far over here I want to put my train stacker. Um, maybe... Hmm. What if I do, like... So. So that will be... That's one train length there. If I make sure to just expand this in the to the left, which I could, I could expand this to the left. Um, I'll leave room for like one more station there at least, and then we're going to start bringing. Uh, I know I have. Uh, that's for the other direction, unfortunately. Okay. All right, uh, this wood, there's so much wood, I need to get rid of it. Um, let me lay down a chest here. Um, that way I'll have a spot to put wood when I inevitably fill up my inventory. There we go. Get all that out of there. I'm sick of it. Okay. 50 bots is not enough. I need to get another uh, Mark II RoboPort. <laughs> 75 might be enough for a while. 100 would be better. Okay. So if I have my rail line down here, and I want to have a four-lane rail line eventually, um, which do I have blueprints for that? I don't know that I do. Um, two gauge, four lane. Okay, so I do. And it is set up for right-hand drive, which is what I'm going to do. So if I bring this over here and plop that blueprint down somewhere in that vicinity, just for now to get it placed, so I have a reference. Okay. Yep. Get all that down. Thank you. Recharge bots. All right. So this is our outbound line here. Yep, and this line would be our inbound. So let me bring that over just so I have a reference. Our train stacker, which that is, I'd like to bring it over just a little further. That should be sufficient room for our train stacker. Okay. There we go. That is actually, you know, it's, they're longer sections than a train stacker, like for this, really needs. They'll hold a much larger train, but they'll do the job. Okay, so what I need to do is I need to blueprint that. Let's prune this back a little bit because I don't need all of that in my blueprint. Um, let's put that in my blueprint. And let's clean up a little bit down here because I don't need that stuff in my blueprint. I don't need that. Um, actually, let's bring that out like so. Um, as far as signaling goes, 
We want to signal this. We want incoming trains right there is the wait no that can be it can be a regular signal and the other end is a chain signal okay we'll see if that does the job let's grab a blueprint so we can yoink it Grab that. Okay. Okay, the upper signal does not quite fit. It needs to come down one rail segment. It needs to be there. Okay. Grab a fresh copy. That should work, I'm guessing. Yes. That is maximum density. There we go. Very nice. Let that all filter back into my inventory, please. Thank you. Um, this can be trimmed. There we go. Place the upper end. That's four. I think I want ten of these for now. That's probably overkill, but there's no such thing as overkill. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. That should do it. Okay, and I am out of rails, so I'm going to have to go get some more. But uh, that gives us our parking for our initial smelting. Plenty of parking. Probably way more than I really need. Um, and then this output line can come across there. That is beautiful. This allows the trains to clear out of the station as quickly as possible to allow trains in. I think that's a good design. Um, let's go ahead and head up and get some more rails. And see where we're at up here. Uh, we're very close to having our new rail system ready to start using. Uh, come here, bots. You're going to want to take a bunch of wood from me, I know. Um, I'm actually going to run away from you because I want to get closer to the actual storage area of the network before you start trying to take all my stuff. Uh, we're going to run all the way over here to the storage area because I have a ton of stuff for you to store. going to check and see how our modules are doing. Uh, looks like they are backed up 50 and 50. Awesome. Uh, and yes, as a matter of fact, our circuits are all backed up again. Excellent. All right, that means I am going to make a pr productivity module version of this so that those can start producing because um, it would be really good to have productivity modules. Wow. Oh, all the construction bots must be locked down in the other half of the network. <laughs> I'll have to go free them. Okay. That is almost done. Good. Come on. Finish clearing my inventory, please. Yeah, I, I really want it all gone. Uh, that stuff can go, too. I set up, like, recycling down here, right? Yeah, I did. Okay. So it'll auto-recycle that stuff. Alright, did I have a blueprint for the module array? I did. Okay. 
Okay, so this needs to be productivity module one. Okay, there we go. That's the most important step. Um, and this is productivity two. And this is productivity three. There we go. We are now producing productivity modules as well as speed modules. Um, if these will take productivity modules, I will be filling these machines with productivity modules soon. Because um, that would be good. Because they are very hungry. And I actually don't know. Uh, let's put these back in the network. I don't need them in my inventory. And the network surely needs them, so... Okay. That is good. I've got a bunch of rails. Excellent. Um, we are actually going to run a little research because I need more logistics slots. So we're going to start up some research. Haven't run any in a while. Um, is there anything here I can cancel for now? Let's cancel that. I want some lights. Uh, like a hundred lights. So, how are we doing on storage here? Yeah, doing okay. Got a ton of wood. So much wood. And I need to set up an ore recycling system as well. Okay. Do I have 100 lights? I have 100 lights. Let us head down and start building some rails. Um, yeah. We're doing just fine on petroleum products for now. The coal train still has 3.8k on board. This is looking kind of weird on my screen because I'm recording late at night and I have uh, um, a, a program that turns my screen red in the evening so that I don't get so much blue light. And it looks really weird right now. It's really dark and moody. Okay. Yeah. Looking good there. Let's go ahead and let it finish building out the train stacker here. Grab that rail, there we go. This place is a death trap when there's actually trains running on the network. <laughs> you do not want to be standing anywhere in this, inside the stacker, because there is no safe spot to stand there. I don't know, there, there might technically be safe squares, like there might technically be safe. But I wouldn't want to have to try and find that safe square in the middle of, you know dodging a train. Okay, we need to merge this like so. Um, and actually, this needs to be moved back a little ways. We're going to do like so. For now, these there we go. The power poles and train and, and lights, rather, are going to get removed from in there. Okay. Okay. It is going to be right where I'm standing. There we go. I was going to say, I better not be 
I think I'm out of signals. I may not have signals in my logistics network, or I may not be requesting them. That's possible too. Um, there we go. Okay. So this is going to be kind of the entrance of our network. Um, and this is going to be a chain signal. Okay, character logistics slots. That is good enough for now. Okay, that is our sm train smelting stop. Excellent. Uh, that took longer than I really wanted to get designed and built, but I think I really like the end result. Um, we will see how it performs. Um, now, how am I going to go about actually getting some mining outposts? Well, there's a copper outpost there. I could get those two outposts set up initially. Um, yeah. Okay. Let's, let's work on getting a little bit of rail laid here. We've got a fair bit of rail. I need signals, though. Well, no. Now I have signals. I've got over 50 of each. That'll last me a little while, anyway. All right, so that is our input. This output line should be good. Um, let me get my rail book on my bar, there we go. Okay, we're going to pull this back just slightly to around there, I think. No, we'll try there. Okay, signals are getting removed from there. That splits out. There we go. Okay, so now if I go here, yeah. Those signals out there will be in the appropriate place. Um, this should be a chain signal. That can be a chain signal, yep. Um, and then I need regular signals here and here. There we go. That should be a proper split from one to two lanes. Let's come out here and let this finish building. Bam. Okay. Okay. This is a mess, but we'll we'll let it exist for now. Um, okay, we'll bring that out like so. Okay, that's all laid down, and now I need some chain signals. Before a crossing. There 
There we go. Why does it think... Oh, that, that way can't go because there's a train in that direction. I see. But all of these are allowed through... Okay, we're good. That is such a mess. Um, all right. Now... We should be in a relatively good spot to do a turn downward. I don't really need a T-junction here, although I'll put a T that lets the train continue off in that direction. But uh, before I do that, I'm going to go grab my uh, uh, tank so we can deal with some aliens, because they're going to be in our way soon. All right, I'm excited. We are starting to finally get a train network built up here beyond our silly little one-line systems. Uh, we are building up to a serious uh, four-lane rail system. I am doing it in two-gauge right-hand drive, which has a few challenges, but I prefer right-hand drive. It just makes more visual sense to me. Okay. You guys want to take some... Okay, you're taking wood. Okay. Okay. Let me kind of weave my way down like so. There we go. Nice. I need to start making rocket fuel so this thing can go even faster. But I need more research for that. Okay. If I'm not mistaken, yeah, this thing has plenty of... I'm hoping it'll refuel itself. We'll see. Okay. Okay. That place is dead. Let's swing around these trees, because there's a lot of them. Okay, let's slow down so I can make a sharp turn. There we go. This train comes down here so rarely, I'm not too worried about it coming down while I'm down here. Um, there's a reasonably thin spot of the trees right here. Oh yeah, personal laser defense. I need to get the uh, uranium ammo, but uh, even the piercing ammo is really good. Okay, um, yeah, I can handle this one more base, I think. We'll make sure not to drive right through the center of this one. And I kind of do a drive-by. Okay, there we go. Now it's time to go back to base and get repaired. But that will clear out the aliens in this area for a little while. That'll be helpful. Alien scum. Yep, alien scum. Okay. One thing I should do is I should upgrade my outpost defenses to be laser turrets. Um, I might do that at some point. Okay, we're going to stop here and get this blueprint for the T-junction place, just so that I can. Because um, I'm quite proud of this T-junction. This is a T-junction I designed. Um, 
It is for my two gauge right hand drive four lane system. And as near as I can tell, it is perfectly signaled. Um, there is no missing signals. Uh, and I am very pleased about that. And I apparently placed that blueprint one off or something, or I'll just plug it in right here and clean up the signals on the edge. Um, that signal can come up. Those four signals don't need to be there. There we go. Um, this, of course, screws it up. <laughs> uh, we will turn that into a signal block all its own in a little while. But for now, that is probably a good wrapping up point for this episode. It's a touch short, but we're at a good spot to stop, so we shall. My name is Utoxin. This has been another episode of Utoxin Plays Factorio. And I will see you next time.